As part of the Holland Park Transformation Project, we're conducting a series of interviews with people who attended the West Ward School that used to stand on that site. So to begin, why don't you tell us your name and what years you attended West Ward School. My name is Elsie Lee Westbrook Barge. I went to school from 1940 to 46, and then I went to junior high school. Okay. Um, so you, you did not attend any other elementary? No. Okay. Now, did you have brothers and sisters who also attended? Yes, Roscoe, his brother, Roscoe Barge. He's deceased. Yeah. Uh, now, where were you living? when you started at West War? I think it was 101 Culver Street okay. in Albion. Okay, so you okay. So when you went to school, did you and Roscoe walk when, when he started, or were you walking with other kids? And Roscoe and I walked, and um, sometimes I walked with other children. Do you remember any of them? Hmm. Donald Hudson. Okay. And on um, Cass Street. We would be together a lot. Okay. Anybody else? Hmm. And his sister. And uh, okay. what was her name? You remember?
people a beat, you know, talk and things. Plus, Mrs. <laughs> would come with a little pet picture. <laughs> or, I mean, see, we, and be quiet, Elsie, you're talking too much, or, you know. Mm -hmm. We always had this one in our room, and um, it was when she get, when they, the teacher would tell us to be quiet, we would be quiet, because we know we would get paddled. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, did you know, like, other than your teachers, did you did you know who the custodian was? Hmm. Can't think of it. Uh, what was it? Mr. Hall. Was it Mr. Hall? Uh, at one time. What about uh, Mr. Sweet? Oh yes, Mr. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you, yeah. you remember him yeah. at all? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Uh, <clears throat> in addition to your regular teachers and Mr. Sweet, those were the, the people I assume who were there all the time. Yes, all the time. Did you recall any other people who came to the school, either like uh, teachers who would come in for special classes like art? Yes. Or music? You, do you have to? We had music, art. Uh, we did have other uh, teachers come in. I can't recall their name, but they would come in and visit our classes and have special classes for us to do uh, artwork and music. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Do you recall ever having um, anybody from the college come in? That, Yes, we had people come from the college to show us how to do different kind of things, um, make stuff, but uh, uh, paste and stuff. We had mm -hmm. them to come in and show us how to do that. Also. Okay, like crafts. Crafts. Yes. Okay. Um, outside of school, did you have any contact with your teachers in any way that was outside of school? Mrs. Burgess, um, I think it was, she always had a Bible class. Oh. And I can always remember that. She always had a Bible class outside of school. And we would go and talk a lot of things about the Bible and stuff. Now, where did that take place? At her church. She would, you know, outside, you know, mm -hmm. she would invite us to come out. Then we had something to eat afterwards. Okay. That was the fun part of it. Yeah. <laughs> Now, this would have been the church that's uh, on Albion Street, Street. Yes. Leggett. Leggett Chapel. Yeah, okay. Um, so, at school, what kind of activities do you remember, uh, not necessarily in class, like out, recess? Yeah, baseball. What that else? Very good. Um, we would. Uh, have different, you know, like if we wanted to have a special class and all the kids would come out and uh, we would go to uh, uh, see who could run the fastest or whatever, we had those kind of uh, contests contest and games. Yes. Okay. Uh, for recess, mm -hmm. do you remember what you played on? The yeah, we had to sit on uh, the swings that we go around. The merry-go-round? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we had swings. Yeah. And we had all kinds of, of different activities. Like, we had the sliding board. Mm -hmm. We had all kinds of stuff up there. It, it was a lot of fun there. Yeah. But, uh, taught me a lot of stuff, you know? Yeah. Uh, when you were at recess, were you ever aware of, um, like, smells from the gale or smoke? or stuff in the air, anything like that interfered? Oh yeah, because we were close to Gail. Right. And we always had that, the smoke and the, but we as children didn't really, I, mean, I didn't really, because it was there, we didn't pay a whole lot of attention to it, but we know that it was there because we could look up and say, oh my goodness. Yeah. yeah. And you lived close to it. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. And it was, uh, all the way, the gale was all the way down uh, Cass Street. 
Right. So we could just look over at that uh, factory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> had a, a fence there that was all the way down. Yeah. That's true. Yes. Fence is still there. It sure is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, what about uh, special times like uh, holidays, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas? Christmas. Do you, uh, what, do you remember anything at Westport that centered on one of those days? We had plays. We had plays. Like Christmas plays and Halloween. We, uh, we dressed the way we want. It was just a lot of fun time with Westport. We had um, all of those times when, when uh, we had a holiday, we would pay the part of it. Valentine's Day was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. We sent Valentine's to each other. Don't forget, you have to get everybody a Valentine's Day, whichever. <laughs> everybody, you don't just get one now. Yeah. You have to have a Valentine's for everybody, and that's what we did. Mm -hmm. And Christmas time, we had plays, and um, I think that's the reason I love it up to this day. Yeah. Uh, we had plays, and uh, I would like to always be in. Mm -hmm. I always like to be in If I didn't be in it, I would just feel real bad. <laughs> Sometimes they would just, you know, yeah. not put me in them. And I wasn't a good baseball player, so they would, you know, they would let me play. <laughs> <laughs> Did, do you remember uh, going trick-or-treating? Oh, yeah. And then finishing up at something at the school? Do you ever recall that? Oh, yeah. We would do that, too. Yeah, we would go trick-or-treating and... Then we'll go back to this, you know, and have did apples. They, did, did, oh, what would you have? Apples and whatever, you know. Yeah. Dip the apples. Dip, yeah. <laughs> we had to dip the apples and you put your mouth down there. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did they, do you recall uh, at Halloween after, after, after you do trick or treat and you come back and you do that apples, that they would have a program of any kind or like a, a film strip? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. it's it seems that I seem to recall one year they actually had a magician come in. Mm -hmm. You recall mm -hmm. activities yes, like that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> if um, let's see, we in talking with other people, uh, a lot of people mentioned safety patrol. Oh. Now, my question is, do you remember any other kinds of uh, groups that were organized through, through the school? Mm. We were very organized now. We were very organized. Because there's so much to it. Yeah. But, um, so I can't see anything. Other than safety control, and hmm. so, somebody mentioned there was some kind of girls' club. Do you remember? Oh, that? I was always in the girls' club. Scout. I was a girl scout. Was okay. That was that through the school or just the uh, school? Through the school. We had girl scouts, and, and um, from girl scouts we went up further. You know, you can go. Girl Scouts to the next level. Yeah, I didn't know. Okay, so, so you were in that for some yeah, time. I was in there, yeah. Okay. Um, around fifth grade, yeah, fifth grade, when I was going through, there was a fifth grade camp that we could go to in, over near Battle Creek. Do you recall any kind of activity like that? It might not have been the same place or, or the one that I went to was in Jackson. Okay. Clear Lake's camp. Okay. Clear Lake. All right. That's you I went to Clear Lake. And that was yeah. in fifth grade? Yeah. Okay. Clear Lake. I went there. Now, when you were at camp, were there kids from other schools? Yes. All around Jackson and, yeah, and some from Albion. Okay. Yeah, it was lots of fun. It was lots of fun getting to know each other and what they do at their school and stuff. Mm -hmm. They will say, well, we don't have that. We, we ought to try to get so-and-so, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Uh, other than camp, 
just in town, do you recall activities that involve kids from Westport with kids from other elementary schools? Mm. Mm. I didn't see too much interaction with us. I know we played softball. Yeah. But that was about, that's all other than camp that I can remember. Mm -hmm. Um, were you, since you, you like plays, were you ever invited to um, participate like at the high, in the high school building uh, in a play or some kind of musical or anything like that? Yeah, I sing. I sing in the high school. Okay. Yeah. I mean, when you were at Westmore? Westmore, yeah. And they took you up yeah. for a special? Yeah. It's like a choir. Okay. We had a choir, and uh, we participated in a lot of things. Okay. But I was in the choir, okay. and uh, we, we participated there. It was really good, though. It was exciting and scary, but I enjoyed it. Do you it remember good. who your teacher was that I think brought you up? I think it was Mrs. Best. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who was the person at the high school? Was it Gravenstein or somebody? Gravenstein. Yeah. But your Westmore teacher was Matt Best. Best. Okay. You remember what grade that was? Mm -hmm. I think it was the fourth grade. The fourth fourth grade. grade. Okay. All right. Uh, did you ever uh, have students from the college come and take you up on campus for an activity? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they would bring a group of us, you know, sometimes like the Girl Scouts. It was, she would come, they would come and support the Girl Scouts and you know, I was always, always participating with that. So they would uh, say, get all the Girl Scouts and let us go to, to the high uh, college. So we did look around, mm -hmm. you know, it was very interesting college. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, so you started out, you were living on Culver Street. Culver Street, right? yeah. All right, by the time... You were in fourth grade. Were you still on Culver Street? Yes. Did you fit? You do the, all of your Westmore time. You were living in on Culver. On Culver Street, yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I did that, and then uh, we moved to Broadwell. Okay. Later. Um, Across the track. Yeah. Yeah. When you were on Culver Street, because I'm, I'm starting to have a flashback. Was it? We you at one o eight? Hmm. Well, did Henry own that house? Henry Dixon? Henry Dixon. I think so, yeah. Because I think Mr. At Woods. Mr. Woods stayed downstairs. Mm -hmm. And I stayed up, we upstairs, my, my mother and I. Okay. Because eventually we lived in the same house. Oh, you did? Yeah, we lived down. By the time I was in fifth grade, uh -huh. fourth and fifth, we were downstairs. But then Aunt Reba, my Aunt Reba, she yeah. bought a house over on uh, Broadwell. Yeah. And so we moved over there. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So if you were that close, then did you go home for lunch? Oh yeah, every day. Every day. <laughs> yeah, every day they would they, they would uh, the guys would uh, wreck, you know. <laughs> we fought a lot. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, you fought at at Westwood, so yeah. I would have to run home because somebody was gonna get after me. But it was good. <laughs> So you can run home <laughs> yes. and uh, and then go back. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, do you remember any occasion where the school would provide you with uh, some kind of snacks? Oh yeah. And what that might have consisted of? Mm -hmm. Every uh, looked like something after a recess. We come in and we were kind of hungry or something. There was always something there for us to eat. Okay. That stuff, yeah. You remember what any of it was? I mean, oh, crackers and cookies. And we even had some sandwiches sometimes. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we always had good stuff and drinks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Since you live on the west side, when we were coming through, they used to tell us a story to scare us 
into not being up on the school ground in the evening. Mm -hmm. And the story that he used for us was a story about the old woman and her pigs. <laughs> and that if we were caught playing on the school ground, like around sundown and after, mm -hmm. we would just want this old woman and her pigs would chase us. Do you recall hearing any story like, or a different story like that? I know we wasn't supposed to be going up there. Oh yeah. We couldn't go after school, mm -hmm. school closed. That was it. We couldn't go. I don't remember the story, but I know that it was one of the things that we couldn't do. So we just went on home and played with our own, made our own horses. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you made horses too. Yeah, we had a horse. Stick horses. horses. <laughs> we plant trees and everything. Yeah. So, um, when you think about the building itself of West Ward, how do you remember it, the atmosphere in the school? Like, was it cheerful? Was it dark? Gloomy? Was it bright? How do you remember it? Just overall. I enjoyed school. I, after I got older, though, I think it could have been better, but I enjoyed going to school. And I enjoyed my teachers. I enjoyed the things that uh, a little bit I did learn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it was good. Uh, we were, uh, we knew each other. Mm -hmm. And when we, the teacher would ask us a question or something, and maybe uh, Ronald, Ronald would answer the question. We didn't give me a chance to answer the question, you know, mm -hmm. something like that. It was, it was really good, though. I enjoyed myself, my young self at that young time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did, uh, do you remember the layout of the building? I know there was a door that went towards Dalrymple Street. Mm -hmm. You go out that door and the swings would be on the left side. Yeah. 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 Sometimes I used to dream about that school sometimes. I, you know, we had houses over there on the left. Mm -hmm. uh, and the Lees lived on that. Yeah. That's my cousin. Yeah, they lived on Cass. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, right over from the school. Right. And uh, uh, it was, let me see, I could see they were my cousins, so I would love to go over there all the time, you know? Mm -hmm. so. Now, all right, so we had the one door towards the Arnold mm -hmm. then we had the door towards the Lee house on the other end. Because mm -hmm. there's the Lee's house and then the Gale was the other yeah, way. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Do you remember uh, like where the bathrooms were in the school? Mm-hmm. It was by Bethel, you know, going to you know, Bethel the church. Yeah, there. okay, that the yeah. East Door. East Door. Yeah. It was over that way. Okay. Um and there was a cloakroom on that end too when you mm -hmm. first came in the door. And there was a cloakroom on the other end when you were like fifth and sixth grade. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, did you ever go in the basement? Mm, I don't or, or, or even just look, look through the door? Look, in there. It was a scary to me, so. <laughs> <laughs> So I was going out there. Because uh -oh. oh, yeah. they were always scary anyway. Yeah. You know, the boys would always scare you. You said, you better not be going down there, girl. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. In terms of your classmates, uh, was Liddy Coleman in school when you were? I could. Think of Gloria Wright, because um, we still friends now. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe Lydia, maybe can't recall her really. Okay. Um, hmm. I like. Hot the Hobson girl. Mm -hmm. 
Cornelius Woods because mm -hmm. she lived downstairs in the house. Right? Yeah, right, mm -hmm. right. Okay. Um, do you remember anything about the school building itself? Like, did you, you re recall ever seeing something that you thought should have been fixed, or did you even notice that? Oh, yeah, we, we always noticed that. When the water wasn't right, you know, the water system wasn't right. When you're trying to drink the water, you know. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. and, and it just, psh, so we see how to fix that. They are, it's been going like that for a long time, you know. So it would, what, sh shoot so out? Uh, yeah, with your face, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> what, what about your books? They were old. I, I, we didn't think it was old. But after you get out of school, then you say, well, look, it should have been better. Yeah. They could have given us better books. Yeah. To, to learn from. Mm -hmm. But we did learn now. Oh, I, I know. But uh, they could have been better. Mm -hmm. They could have been better books. Okay. Yeah. Um, After you get older, you think of them. Well, yeah, then you look back. Mm -hmm. But as, as a kid. It's okay. You know, the, yeah. This is our books. Yeah. You know, this is what we learn from. All right, Derek came into this seat. So you finished. Uh, and then, so then you went to junior high. Mm -hmm. All right, when you, when you left Westport and went to junior high, what was that like for you? That, it was scary. Okay. Because you're feeling that you're, you're, you're okay, I'm growing up, yeah, but how would these, because see, we didn't fellowship too much with white people. And it was uh, it was a difference to go into a school that they were there, mm -hmm. and you felt kind of inferior because uh, I had a, a young man who didn't like me, and he would do things, you know, say mm -hmm. things, and do. And my teacher was Mr. Goldsmith in my first class when I was mm -hmm. and um, I tell Mr. Goldsmith. I don't know if his name was Ronnie or Rollin. I said, stop, tell Rollin to leave me alone. So Rollin would <laughs> leave him. And he would do little dirty things, you know, and I'd sit there. And I jumped up and hit it. And what did Mr. In the classes, do? In the glasses, I broke his glasses. Oh, I thought that was awesome there, and I cried. <laughs> I did, I really cried because uh, he, uh, I said, get your get you. I said, he, you know, and his glasses was broke. I said, oh, my mama's gonna have to pay for these glasses, you know. Mm -hmm. And it was his fault because he kept on picking them because I kept on telling Mr. Goldsmith, he's bothering me. Did, did he, did, did Mr. Goldsmith ever do it? He said, now I tell you, Elsie will not have to pay for those classes because I told you to leave her alone. See, we learned how to fight at, at uh, Westwood. Yeah. You know, we really learned. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was good. It was good. Okay. Did you, uh, once you're in junior high and high school, did you, did you feel like uh, you were prepared enough? Not really. It was like we could have been, I could have been prepared a little bit better, but um, not really. It was good. We did have good teachers at uh, Westward. Mm -hmm. Very good teachers. But it was like we could have gotten a little bit more. In any specific area or just in general? In general. Okay. In general. Okay. But I did learn. Oh yeah. yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, given given that you left West for a good time before it closed, do you have any memory of discussions going on like at your home about them closing the school or that people were being asked to keep their kids at home? Anything like that? Well, the school closing. Um, I didn't like that because I said, well, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? How are we going to 
you know, this was always in our mind. If the school closed, where are we going to go? Because we wasn't, <clears throat> at first we wasn't really, um, to go across, over to cross the way road track uh -huh. until later. A lot of people went to Donahopper School uh -huh. and, uh, to learn, you know, afterwards. So they did go to Donahopper School, but we wasn't, uh, as black people, couldn't go across the way road track. I mean, you had to be kind of careful about it uh -huh. when you go across there. So. But we had we had a good school. I, I, I loved that school. Yeah. By the, by the t by the time you moved to uh, Broadwell, you were already in junior high. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, now Roscoe is what a Roscoe was two years younger than me. Okay. What what about him? Did he finish at Westport as well, or did he? Go? Yeah, he finished at Westport, and he okay. finished at high school. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, so you didn't have who in the family uh, would have come along that did that went to Austin? Marva. Remember Marva? Yeah. Yeah. Our cousin. Yeah. Our cousin. yeah. Uh, she went to. to she, she went, went there. there. She went there. Mm -hmm. She was about two. She's about two years younger than me. Okay. What about like Steve? Steve. Where did he go to school? He went to school to Don Rampa. He was okay. Yeah, he went to Don Rampa and uh, it's, it's a little bit in the other school. Austin. 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 Yeah. Okay. He went to Austin school. My mother. But for some reason went to Austin because she said one time that she had went to Austin school. I don't know what time it was that she went to Austin school, but she did okay. go to Austin school. I didn't get a chance to. Mm -hmm. And a lot of my friends went to Austin, but since we lived on Culver Street, we couldn't go over at that time. I don't know why it was that way. Yeah. All right, let's talk about the family. Uh, were, you, were you born in Elmhurst? I was born in Elmhurst. All right, so on Austin Avenue. On uh, Austin Avenue. 903 <laughs> Austin Avenue. Oh, yes. You still remember that? Yes, yes. And I was born at home. Mm -hmm. I think that was fairly common. I think I was too. <laughs> um, so, where did your family come from? Jeffersonville, Georgia. Okay. Most of them. And I'm finding out I was kid to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you have any idea of when they moved to Albion? Mm -hmm. My mother was young. And if you look in the, uh, we have a picture, a book at the bookstore. And uh, my father was in there, in the books. I, I keep that book because I was my father again. Remember me as well. My father was there and my mother uh, was there. And I'm, this bookstore. Uh -huh. Downtown. There, there is a book in town. About African Americans. And it's got your. My father. What's the name of the book? Um, mm -hmm. well, you should ask me. <laughs> so I can't think because I got it at home. But I look at it sometimes when my father was at the Malibu. He worked at the Malibu. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it one of Frank Passick's books? Mm -hmm. Okay. Passick. Okay, then I'll have to check. I mm -hmm. All right, so your father came to work in the Malibu? Yeah. And, uh, all right, so that would have probably been in the early 1930s. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he worked there for? Mm. I don't know how long. It's in the book, though. Okay. You know, he worked there for a long while, and then he went back down to Jefferson. He went back down to Georgia. You remember what, about when that was? In the fifties, probably. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so what? What? What was your mother doing? She worked uh, at um, on. I don't know. Yeah, I, I can't even think of his name now. But it was by the um, park over across the park. There was people that lived there over across the park. Which. Uh, 
down, downtown the park, our main park. Venture Park? Venture Park. See, they've crossed there. They would cross there. Oh, okay. Uh, and somebody's home? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, it, it was you, Roscoe, and Mark. And Mark. Okay. The 30s and the 40s. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Roscoe ne never did, had to do any, like, any military stuff, did he? Like in the early 50s? No, he didn't. Okay. No. All right. All right. Any questions for Elsie? Was the family your mother worked for, the Dean family? The Deans. The dean, she works up for on for years. Up on yeah, yeah. Uh, that's where we got our milk from. Mm -hmm. The yeah. dairy. There the was dairy. a dairy right yes. there. Yes. Yeah, we didn't have to pay for it. <laughs> we <laughs> got our milk from there and the butter and whatever. Yeah. So, what what did she cook for them or? Yeah, she cooked mm -hmm. and she cooked and everything every day. Uh, I had a babysitter, so we had babysitters. During that time, um, they took care of us until Mom come home. Yeah. Who was your babysitter? That's what you do. <laughs> okay, that, you don't <laughs> remember that. I don't remember that. Okay. Name. But we had one. She was strict. She did what Mama told her to do. We'd go to bed at uh, five o'clock when the sun was still shining out the door. <laughs> it was awful because we wanted to play a little bit longer. <laughs> So did she worked in the evenings for the deans? She worked all day, you know, mm -hmm. eight hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And on Christmas time, the deans would invite me up to uh, uh, their house, and they would uh, give us presents and uh, uh, play the piano. <coughs> and I would sing. We would sing Christmas carols and stuff. It was a good time. The reason I ask is because when. Um, when they finally, the last yeah. of the Dean family yeah. left that there were children that lived on those houses around the edges, a lot of papers came to here, mm -hmm. to this history room. And there was a lot about the domestic uh, story of mm -hmm. um, Mrs. Dean. It even had the, the drawings of how she set the table. Oh, yes. For and and so it was all very <laughs> elegant. But I'm guessing that your mother's mark would be on some of that. I, I it came right about the time that I left here, so I've never gone back and really looked at that. But I'll bet we could sort out some of your mother's activities by looking at those papers, um, because she was um, meticulous in keeping notes about how she ran her household. Mm -hmm. It was very nice. It was a beautiful place. It was just, and, and me being a child going up there, it was just a special thing for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, she would play the piano. And uh, come on, let's sing. And we would sing, and she'd give me presents and stuff. She was really, oh, that was a special time with me at the Dean's, yeah. yeah. The kitchen is in the basement there, so she had staff to do all of her cooking and later when they wanted to make that the college president's home there was one of the president's wives says no I don't want to live there because I cook myself and the kitchen is in the basement mm -hmm. but she always had uh, assistance for, for all of that that and she you know that that was probably one of the the more interesting um, families in Albion for for living on the upper upper scale, mm -hmm. I'm thinking. Yeah. It was beautiful. It mm -hmm. was a beautiful, she had a beautiful home. Mm -hmm. It was surprising for me as a child to go in something so beautiful, you know, and go and, and uh, uh, give us presents and stuff and treat us really good. Mm -hmm. She was a well, They owned person. the house on Erie Street that's now Dean Hall, and then they, when they left that, they went up on the hill and built that, mm -hmm. that big house. It was mm -hmm. supposed to have been built after her family home in 
somewhere out east. And it's Do you have any cows and stuff? Mm -hmm. And the farm that was next to it, the Haven Hills Farm, Haven had Hills farm. the cattle were I went out there to very the special cow, cattle. Yeah, I went out there and they showed us the cows and mm -hmm. stuff. You know, even chickens. You know, the babies. They had some of those too. So yeah. it was really nice. So uh, they they probably had a fairly large staff. I'm guessing that there mm -hmm. were other other people who also worked for that family. Um, talk, I was thinking about a pitch. What was your father's first name? Curtis. Curtis Barr. Curtis Barr. Was, did he have a brother? Uh, he had three brothers. What were their names? Um, <laughs> if you know, I just relax and say I, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember right now. Because the reason I ask is uh, there's a and his brothers is in their book too. Yeah, there's a picture of Emancipation Day mm -hmm. in 1927. That you've probably seen that real mm -hmm. long thing. And there's a man in a uniform. He uh, was. Yeah. Now who was that? It's a barge. Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay, it was his uncle. It's my uncle. Okay. It's my uncle. I I had three uncles. Yeah. They lived here in Albion, and I I just can't think of like names. Okay, so he. So he must have been a veteran from World War One. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, because yeah, because he's Star with him. I can't think of his name though. His name is Star with him, but uh, I just can't think of his name. Sure. <laughs> okay, we can we can, we can find that we in the city directories. We should be able yeah, to find, find that in the city directories. So yeah. that means at least somebody was here in the 1920s. Mm -hmm. That was 1927. Mm -hmm. uh, did he, your uncle, now did all your uncles work in the mountain? Yeah, all of them worked in the mountain. Did they stay in Albion or did they also go back to Jefferson County? They went, uh, two, two or three of them went, but uh, one stayed here okay. in, in, in Albion, but two of them went back to Jefferson County. Okay, uh, I'm starting to have flashback <laughs> Who was Bama? My father. That's your father? He could sing. Okay. He was a singer. Okay. And you know, he had a quartet. All right, all right. Yeah. You, you, okay. <laughs> what, was, what was the name of his group? Uh, and I'll look it up. Okay. I'll look it up next time. No, I'm going to give you some homework then. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have photographs like of, of the, the quartet? I have to look it up. Too. Okay. Yeah, if you find some of your uncles, whatever, uh, or if, if somebody took a picture of you at West Ward mm -hmm. or something, call me. Okay. Because what I can do is I'll mm -hmm. take a photograph of it so I have a negative. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just keep this, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. it would be nice to have all of that. Because, okay. see, I never, I don't recall knowing your dad. Yeah, he didn't stay long. He didn't okay. stay here long. I, but I knew your mom. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. and, um, mm -hmm. She didn't want to go back down to Georgia. Mm -hmm. She was born down there and, and raised down there, and she just didn't want to go back to Georgia. She didn't like the Georgia thing. Yeah. So she just stayed up here. Because Jefferson, there are a lot of, lot of us in Jefferson oh, County. Yeah, oh, I, I got a lot in, of kids in Macon. Yeah, well, I mean, a lot. Isn't Dr. Curtis from that? Yes. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's from there. Um, he's Calvin in there. Curtis is um, uh, James Curtis. My uncle, my great uncle, married his mother. Okay. So that's what that's what. That's the hookup. Curtis. Yeah. And, um, and my dad's name was Curtis Barge, and my mama married a Cur and, and was a Curtis. Yeah. I sent out my Yeah. Name. <laughs> Curtis. Was Curtis. <laughs> yeah. But it, it, and she married a Barge. Yeah. So her, her, her last name was Curtis, Leela Curtis. Mm -hmm. And um, she married um, Curtis Barge. Yeah, so she was. His first name was Curtis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. But did they know each other before, or was there any kind of family connection at all? In the in the early days, you know, people married people that was within a certain parameter of where they could ride a horse, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know. So a lot of people married, and there was a lot of uh, sort of double cousins. That's yeah. sort of how it worked. Well, I'll kind of, I'll kind of check up on that. Uh -huh. I really will check on that. Because I, I see, uh, see, my father is from the same place. Jefferson Bell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Yeah. There's quite a few. And, uh, Even now, you know. So oh, yeah. how do you think the word went out to Jefferson County to come to Albion? Probably the same way it went out to Mobile and Pensacola. Work. Work. But, but there was probably somebody in particular who had been and took the story. I mean, it, it, you know, it, that original 64 men, you know, the, the Malamos agent, uh, Murray, mm -hmm. you know, but I think like um, like Gloria, Gloria mentioned, Mr. Birch mm -hmm. went, Sun Birch, mm -hmm. and because he had rooming houses, yes. and so he, he could go and bring people up and pro provide them a space, temporary space to live. Yeah, and so it, it, it could have even been like that. Um, well, when we study the Hispanic community in Albion, we can almost trace everybody to Brownsville, Texas. Mm -hmm. So there are just places where the word, somebody posted somebody, a sign yeah. on, the, yeah. on the corner store and, and uh, that, that men, they needed men to work. Because I can't, I, it's not coming now, but it seems to me there was, an, in addition to Mr. Birch, there was somebody else who did the same kind of thing. Mm -hmm. who would go down. Would, would it be Mr. Pearson, too? Oh, Pearson. I, don't, I don't know. And provide, you know, transportation mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. And uh, then rent space to them. Space, yeah. Yeah. Because they did have, uh, a lot of black people did have homes. Thank yeah, you. and... You know, they they would live rent for a short time because the jobs were here, mm -hmm. and as soon as they could, then they would get housing mm -hmm. for themselves. Okay, so then uh, the, uh, then they have somebody that built those bricks down on the, uh, our main street. What is that? In, on Superior Street. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that was WPA. Uh, stuff in the 40s, because mm -hmm. there was a lot of work uh, that was done here. Because they, they used, to, they used to tell me that there was a lot of black men help put those bricks down all the way from heads, you know, all the way down Superior Street. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that and they used to have the, uh, the, the trolley, mm -hmm. the, yeah. They had, I, I remember when the rails used to still be mm -hmm. in the street. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, but that went out in the 1920s. Yeah, the, but they left the, the rail, rails. The rails, the rails were still there. Yeah. The last yeah. rails went out when they fixed this little piece of this Erie Street Erie right Street out here right in here. front. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because um, they were well, they they had an elevated section over where Ann Street goes down and curves around into Michigan, mm -hmm. uh, and that that big cement platform was there for years when we were kids because mm -hmm. my uncle Willie mm -hmm. lived down there mm -hmm. and then uh, my friend Floyd Bell his mm -hmm. dad moved down so going around that curve we'd always see the, what was left. There were no remnants of that old trellis there are pictures of that and it just it was pretty big a lot of wood but that was all gone by the, the trellis time. was Your gone, memory. this mm -hmm. big cement foundation mm -hmm. was it was there for many years. Yeah, yeah but I always heard that. I didn't know, but I had always heard that it was a, the black man was the one who made that foundation of this whole street all the way down Superior. Uh, mm -hmm. I have to look. Yeah. Well, there certainly was a lot of uh, labor. The 
they built all that stonework on the river, on the river and, the river, and, yeah. and uh, they built the courthouse or the city, city hall. hall. Yeah. And that was all um, well, depression era, yeah, 1930s. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. yeah. So I'm guessing that, uh, yeah, that there be, was I'll work be, for that. I'll be really interested in what you find because that fills a gap for me okay. in family stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, because there's so many questions that are brought up. Like when you start looking at how we're related, the Dixons, Dixons the Curtises. Curtises? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm the, the Wheelers. The Wheelers. I'm, not, I'm to all of them. I know, I know, we all are. Mm -hmm. but, but the connections mm -hmm. are made. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then all of the stuff that went on in Jefferson. The Wilsons? Did you know you came to the Wilsons? Which Wilsons? The Wilsons that was here. Um, what more Wilson here? You, you came to those two? What he, yeah, Woody was one of the interviews. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he was? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we're, were came to them. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're, they're really, they're so many. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, anything you find. Okay. I will be looking. <laughs> Well, the chances were better to be kin because there were larger families, for one thing, so there were lots more spokes to a tree. To, but I learned really quick in Albion to, uh, to, be, to, to be nice to everybody. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, come, <laughs> I come from a town like that, too, where everybody is uh, at least a kissing cousin. Yeah. Yeah. West. When you were growing up, uh, downtown was prospering. Beautiful! And uh, they had movie theaters. Uh, Elmy you, Theater. You, you had, <laughs> had memories from the, of going to the movies? Yes. Elmy Theater and Bone Theater. And uh, Ra Rogers. <laughs> Dale Yeah, yeah. I remember all those guys. And then I remember the spooky movies too. <laughs> so did you play Roy like, Rogers when you oh, rode on your yes, stick horses? Oh, my sticks, yeah. So which one did you get to be? Huh? Who uh, did you get to be? Roy Rogers. Yeah. I, I had a brother. Shoot. He always got to be Roy Rogers. I always I always <laughs> got to be like yeah, I I would be Dale Evans sometimes <laughs> later. But um but yeah, it was uh yeah, my brother always got all the good parts and, and all of that. What do you recall being downtown in terms of stores and like places to get ice cream or stuff? Do you remember? J.C. Penney. I like clothes. Mm -hmm. J.C. Penney. We had all kinds of good clothes. Cartwright shoes. I didn't get too many there, but I did get them because they was expensive, mm -hmm. you know. I got a couple pair there. Uh, all of the drug stores we had. We had plenty of drug stores. You, you, Furniture you. booth. Yeah. I bought my kids' beds there. <laughs> booth place and uh, just, just That's right, booth. everything. Booth mm -hmm. furniture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, the drug store. We had three drug stores on the corners. Mm -hmm. Do you remember uh, the names of them? Any of them? Rexall one. The Weather Wax. Weather Wax. And, and, and you know, I, I, the drug store that we have now has been there for years and years and years. Mm -hmm. It just growed a little bit because it was smaller. Yeah. And then you got an uh, addition to it. But, now, when you were a kid, the one down on Cass. And Superior, right, right mm -hmm. next to the police station. Was it called Paul Halls or something? Halls, like yes. Yeah. Paul uh, Rexall. Paul Rexall and Judge Stuck. Rexall. And, and it stayed that until it became Garrison? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, okay, across on Austin, mm -hmm. the store on the corner. Did you know it as the Venus? The Venus. And yeah. Yeah, I used to go there. I think I went to the one on El on um Elliott Street and mm -hmm. Austin more than I went to that one. Was I see it was
was two. One was on Austin, Allen Street, mm -hmm. and Austin. Mm -hmm. That over there. And then that was uh, the one that's over across the street. Tisco? Tisco. Tisco. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the Venus became Carrington. Mm -hmm. Later on, because Carrington, then right. Carrington married his Carrington. daughter. That's what I meant. Yeah. Carrington. Okay. Carrington. Okay. Now, going up Austin from Albion, going east, the first building was Panacea at mm -hmm. when you were a kid. Mm -hmm. And then, do you remember when Gamble's restaurant opened? It would have been in the 50s. Mm -hmm. And, um, and and then Mr. Unions. Mr. Unions. Cleaners. Cleaners. Yeah. Yeah. You know what came next? And get uh, Gamble's. Uh, I think it was Gamble's. No, going the other way. Pat, you go from Panaceas to Gamble's to Mr. Union to. A uh, 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 place to eat. Yeah. Well, you remember what that was? Because there was a tavern in the middle of that block as well. Mm -hmm. It it comes not too 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 many years ago. Yeah. Um. God. Was it Tom Chucks? Ta there was a Thomasick, kind of T O M A C H I C K. Was that a? No, no. That's later. I think. Mm -hmm. This. I think this was a Tom Chucks. Or something. Chucks. Yeah, it was Tom Chucks. But that was a store, wasn't it? I'm asking. Yeah, it was a store. That was the store. A store. Sold. Sold. Sold food or candy and stuff. Mm -hmm. Cause I used to go there. Was, was that the one that had a counter in it where mm -hmm. you can sit down mm -hmm. and get malts and mm -hmm. stuff like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about the other side of the street? You're you're doing the you're doing, the, doing north the north side, side of the street. The other side. All right. There was Tisco, Tisco, but there was a gas station or something first, gas right? Station, yeah. And then Tisco. Tisco. And so, what? Then it went too much right up in here, but then it had the car place. That's the Billikies. Is yeah. that the one that's still it was there? there. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it was there. Yeah, it's, it, it's bigger. But it's so there. what was on the corner when you got up to the corner of Eaton? Wow. It was houses. Yeah, but there was a corner. There was a corner store there of some kind. On the corner on the south side, mm -hmm. there were houses, and then there was that. Oh, it sure was. It was a drugstore-like place. Cause I remember, it was right up in here. Yeah, right on the right where the light is yeah, there on Austin. Right there, right there. Um, and Albion and Ann and Ann Street. Was no, it Albion there? and yeah. Eaton. Clear, clear on in where it's where the where Austin really starts. You know, you turn the corner and it's mm -hmm. Austin off of Superior, but it's houses, yeah. and then mm -hmm. and then you get to the corner of Eaton, and the commercial part starts kind of on that corner. Mm -hmm. There's the, the. Well, it does now. I'm trying to yeah. think. But that's what I'm wondering. Did it? Did, yeah. Yeah, I have. But there was a corner, there was kind of a little corner store there, kind of like five points, I thought, right on that corner. I and then there look. and then it became a Piggy Sue's and some other things and, and later Alice's. not No, Alice not on the other side. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. On that little there was a little pocket yeah, I business know what, I know there what, I know on that corner. Mm -hmm. Cuz you were talking the store you were talking about is down on Ann. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm it's still that building is still mm -hmm. there, and, and actually there was a store mean. on the other corner on Chauncey. Because mm -hmm. those two, the owner had two daughters that were sort of real tall mm -hmm. and and almost withdrawn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean they they didn't talk a lot, mm -hmm. but um, I don't remember the name of either one of those places, and nor did I. I went in one of them once, mm -hmm. but. Uh, some but that's going to be in all those city directories. Yeah. yeah. That that should we should be able to flush out every yeah, business out in the yeah. in the thirties. There's a real good one for the 
36, I, I think it yeah. is. Do you have a 13? But I believe Elgin is going to come back to where it is supposed to be. I really do. It'd be fun to put Austin Avenue back and, yeah. and make it a restored community because yeah. that's a real time I capsule want Tom, in history. Tom to come back. I want Tom, Tom to come back. You know? If it comes back, it, it won't be, it won't function the same as with stores and stuff mm -hmm. because the malls have just mm -hmm. have taken over everything. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of thinking it will be restaurants. Even that would be nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a question. Um, did you continue um, as a singer in choirs and uh, through, throughout your? Yeah, I still sing quite a bit. Do you do you sing now in, in at church or, yes, or I, I do sing you church. have a group or? No, I just sing in church in different places. Detroit, mm -hmm. um, different places I sing. Mm -hmm. Love to sing. And awesome. <laughs> so, and that all started at West Ford. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I always liked to just sing. You know, I like you remember my mother used to sing. Yeah. yeah. Were you ever connected with the Goodwill Singers? Yes, I was connected with Mrs. Pearson for years. So do you have a recording that they made? Uh, I know it was a, the, the old fashioned record. I think there's one here in the history room of the of Mrs. Of the, Pearson, yeah. the Goodwill Singers. Yeah. 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 yeah they, with me in it. There would have probably been maybe early 60s maybe mm -hmm. of that. The, the one that's I was here. in it a long time. Then I had to stop because I had to get busy with my children. <laughs> I couldn't take that time anymore. So you raised your family here? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my family was raised here. Yeah. But they left. So I'm not we were all raised here. So I went to the bathroom. So let's see, you have what? I have four boys and one girl. No, I'm talking about in terms of grandchildren. And I got about 1920. You have any great friends? I have about in the twenty. I have about about six, and I'm having twins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that the first? Have you had? Twins? No, my son has twins. Remember? Uh, which one? Eric. Eric, Eric had two boys. Yeah, twins. yeah. And they milked it had twins. Yeah. Keith and Kevin, they died. Now my grandson, uh, told, uh, my uh, oldest son's son, is going to have twins. Mm 